Welcome to the Center for Neuroacoustic Research and welcome to Scientific Sounds. We have been using various techniques, uh, medical monitoring systems to access the brain and access the nervous system uh, to tell what kind of sounds we use that makes the maximum response for healing. Uh, and aside from that, for meditating and for sleep and for creativity and for a variety of different things. Um, we're at a unique time in our history right now. I think that sound has stood the test of time of being the most powerful tool for healing and expanding consciousness in pretty much every culture on earth. Every culture has got a tradition of sound uh, for making profound change. Now we've got unprecedented ability to measure what happens in the brain and what happens in the body when we expose you to different kinds of sounds. Um, and that can help guide us. And we've had new discoveries and new developments in our ability to control sound like never before. <clears throat> there are devices that can deliver sounds in ways that have never been possible before, <clears throat> in precision of sounds. We use sounds that are accurate to a couple of decimal points. Um, and we can measure the change that happens in the body and in the brain. So we base our whole idea on a central holistic idea. And that idea is that within each of us is a biological, organic intelligence that knows how to grow my body out of two cells and differentiate those tissues into everything that makes me what I am. Organs and glands and spine and brain and um, meridians, uh, all of it. All of those systems have been grown from blueprints that something inside of me knows how to read those blueprints and make, and make it all work on automatic without me thinking about it the magic of how the body functions, the, the beauty of how healing takes place. If I cut myself, some magic thing happens where the blood stops by itself and a scab forms and the scab falls away and pretty soon it's all healed up. The body is doing that on a million levels every hour of all kinds of systems inside of your body. There's a maintenance list that is being attended to on a constant basis. The healing powers of the body are miraculous beyond belief. So that means that when we have symptoms and we have problems, um, something is blocking the inherent healing abilities of this master control system for doing its work. And we've developed systems to help unlock that healing potential on the inside of the body. And we're using sound to do it. We're using light, we're using electromagnetic fields, we're using all kinds of different systems, uh, both in specific systems for individuals, uh, where everything is tuned specifically to your brain, to your body, to um, generic systems, generic soundtracks that are available to the general public uh, in various categories based on what we've seen with our work with individuals, with patients. Um, it's really, as far as I can see, that the future of healing has its core and its secret in the ancient past. And bringing what we've been doing from thousands of years in various cultures together with 21st century technology that's never been available before, we really have the ability to tap into regions of healing and expanding consciousness like never ever before. Um, the ability to see where does the brain go when a person is a very st high state of meditation. What's the difference between Zen meditation and uh, shamanic journeying and uh, bliss states that we've seen with research with the Dalai Lama and the University of Wisconsin with monks who've been meditating for 30 years. But what's the secret of unlocking healing potential in the subconscious mind. All of these things are now available to us and are have been in development and are techniques that we use right now every single day 
in practice with real conditions, with real people. So welcome to the future of high-tech use of ancient technologies and sound for healing and expanding consciousness.